What's going on everyone? Alex here, and I want to talk to you about Haruka's actions very early on in Yakuza 6's story. I'm talking about Haruka's sudden departure from her home at Morning Glory, after revealing at a concert that she was raised by a Yakuza, a criminal, basically. I was curious how the western fanbase of the series would react to this behavior, and after browsing through various forums, I noticed that the reactions were a mixed bag. A lot of fans called her selfish, as she looked like she was running away from the problem, and other fans called her careless, endangering the futures of her adoptive siblings. As someone who grew up in Southeast Asia for almost 20 years, I actually thought that she was doing this selflessly, but I wasn't sure why. Is there something different with growing up in Asia that made me think this way? I then started asking some very important questions. Is there a cultural significance as to why Haruka thought this was the best course of action? Were her intentions truly selfish by running away from her adoptive siblings in the middle of the night in the guise of bringing Kiryu back from prison? To help shed some light on this, I was able to catch up with the localization producers at Sega of America during a live stream and ask them to give us an explanation, if there actually was one, of Haruka's motivations to leave. Given that they were able to speak with the original development team on a regular basis, I figured that they would have a valid reason. Sam Mullen, one of Yakuza's localization producers, provided an explanation. In America, your problems are your problems, and my problems are my problems. My problems can't boil over to other people because that just doesn't make any sense. But in Japan, everything's connected, and if something goes wrong with you, it affects everyone around you, and there's a very low-level cultural sense of that. For example, if you got a DUI in the United States, you get a fine and maybe you even get your license taken from you. But in Japan, you get a DUI, people don't want to associate with you anymore. You're often forced to quit your job because the company doesn't even want to be associated with that. There's a lot of social groups that get impacted when people step out of line in Japan. There's a massive fallout from it. That's why it sometimes feels a little weird. For instance, why is Kiryu's relationship with Haruka having an effect on all these kids? These seem so disconnected, but it actually is not. It really isn't. In Japanese culture, that's what happens. Nobody will give these kids the benefit of the doubt. In this scene specifically, Haruka essentially grows up here because she understands that decisions and actions have consequences in real life, and everything isn't just like stars and hearts and roses and stuff. You can't just have ideals. There's actual impact. It seems like she's running away from the problem, but that's not actually what's happening. What she's doing is taking responsibility, in her mind, for the situation. In her head, she's not thinking she's running away. She's removing danger from the group. She's removing what she sees as endangerment to the people that she loves, which is ultimately no different than what Kiryu is doing. Sam's explanation is full of merit, and, ultimately, there's a little bit of selfishness and selflessness in Haruka's decision to run away. If we look back on the series as a whole, there's tons of moments where martyrdom and personal sacrifice is perceived as the right choice. But this is the world of Yakuza we're talking about here, and while these actions may be commonplace in their world, it certainly explains why our interpretations of these choices differ. More importantly, Japan might seem too familiar to us thanks to the media we consume, but the underlying social differences tell me that there's more to mine in these games than just its stories and mini-games. What's your take on this? Post your replies on the comments below and share your thoughts about this topic and the Yakuza series as a whole. And if you like this video, please consider checking out my other videos on Yakuza and subscribing to the channel. Your support is what helps our community grow. Thanks a bunch, and happy gaming.